In this video, let's have a look at the outer regressive model. So what's the intuition of it? We are basically regressing the outcome variable on a lagged value of itself. Lagged means previous. So over here below, I write an example, right, with numbers. Let's work with numbers. So sales of jeans, same as before. Um, one thing we need to understand about time series. Time series is used for forecasting. Now we use data that we have from the past to predict in the future. So that's how time series work. We use data from the past to predict in the future. So we use, we use the data, for instance, from 1990 until 2014. We have data that shows us that there is a relationship between the sales of the previous year and the sales of the current year. So sales at time t and sales at time t minus one. We're gonna give a intuition why this would be the case because it makes sense. And we, with this data that we find, with the regression line that we find, right? We have here certain points that actually happened. We try to fit it. We try to fit it. Let me do it like that. So these are all, these are all, um, these are all points that happened across time and beyond a certain time, beyond, nine, beyond 2014, we're starting to project ahead. So in this case, we're projecting sales for 2018, knowing that there is a positive effect from sales in the previous year, which is 2017. Let's see why that would happen. So how can we interpret this uh, slope coefficient, assuming it's significant? So what we're saying is this, if sales in 2017 increases by one unit and we're measuring the units of sales in thousands of dollars, well, if sales in 2017 goes up by $1,000, let's call it that way, because that's what one unit is, then the sales in the next year, because next year is 2018, is gonna go up by the slope coefficient, which is 11 times, this is 11 units, so 11 times $1,000. Sales in 2018 is gonna go up by 11 multiplied with $1,000, so that's going to give us $11,000 more sales in the next year. Why would that happen? Why, why does this make sense in a time series model? Well, the idea is this. You see, if in 2017 we increase our sales, it means we did something well. It means we provided more value than usual so that people wanted to buy our jeans. Either our marketing campaign was good or the brand value went up. Whatever happened, this tells us that people bought more jeans. People had a positive experience with our product. So what happens? Word of mouth happens. Word of mouth happens. So that means that their friends now know more and more about our jeans company, of our brand. That word of mouth keeps expanding so that in the next year, when you know the trend for those jeans comes, so to speak, more people are likely to come to our store to buy the jeans. So they do come to our store and they do buy more jeans and we do have an increase in sales in the future year. So that's one, you know, one possible reason that could happen with a jeans company. We could think of small entrepreneurs who sell, you know, their own bakery. So in one quarter, <coughs> they sell more bread because it's more fresh and all that. So in the next quarter, they will probably have a positive effect also because of word of mouth. People got to know more about that bakery. More people are buying more sales for the bakery. That's, that's the highlight. So this is, this is an intuitive example, something that would make sense. That's the idea of the autoregressive model. Now there's some details about it. So this is autoregressive model. I think it's called of legged one. Yeah, of leg one. It has one leg, one, one previous value that matters. So this is our one leg. It could be two legs, depending on how much, uh, on whether it is significant or not. So we could have two legs as well. Sales two years ago, that might still affect sales two years later. Why is that the case? Same logic. Word of mouth kicks in for the next year and part of the effect that happened from the word of mouth from 2017 might still affect sales in 2019 so that we would have two legs that are significant for future sales. So this might still affect sales in 2019. But anyway, that's for the sake of the example. The point is this, we can have more legs, depends on the model, but that's how we interpret the legs. And that would be like a possible, you know, reasoning for it. Hope this all makes sense. In the next video, we go to the distributed leg model.